This is a brief video review on the Lenovo ThinkPad T480 laptop for use in 2023 and onward. So this model in particular has a i5-8250U CPU, four cores and eight threads, Intel UHD 620 integrated graphic. There's also 16 gigabytes of silicon powered DDR4 2400 megahertz RAM, and there's a 240 gigabyte ADATA SU635 2.5 inch solid state drive. For Wi-Fi card, we have a Intel dual band wireless AC8265, and there's also Bluetooth 4.0. One. And this is the somewhat cheaper version of the T480. It has a 14 inch HD 1366 by 768 display. Now it has the similar style six row keyboard that is characteristic of all keyboards from the 30 series ThinkPads and up. And we have a nice intuitive touchpad with three buttons up top and also the characteristic red touch point. Taking a look at the IO on the right side of the laptop, we have a microphone and headphone input, USB 3.1, HDMI port, USB 3.1 always on to charge things like your cell phone, RJ45 Ethernet port, multi-card SD card reader, and the version of the Kensington lock. On the left IO, we have the USB Type-C power adapter port, one USB 3.1 Type-C, with the function of power delivery and display port. Here we have the air exhaust grill for the CPU fan and the slot for the optional smart card reader. For the case itself, we have our usual ThinkPad durability. This display cover in particular is, is polyphenylene sulfide PPS and the bottom cover consists of glass fiber reinforced plastic. And while we have the laptop turned upside down like this, let's take note to notice all of the passive air cooling with these vents. And this, and this portion over here is the air intake for the CPU fan and we have a lithium ion battery right here which offers 24 watt hours. For general use you'll find that you really benefit with the 4 core 8 thread Intel Core i5 and i7 options for this laptop coupled with 16 gigabytes of RAM at least. It's a really snappy system. Everything functions quite well and quite fast especially if you have a good internet connection. Now I'm not going to demonstrate on video but I can make the judgment that this laptop would be perfectly fine for all types of office use, Office 365, uh, schoolwork, etc., playing high definition videos on YouTube, Netflix, or other streaming platforms, uh, doing 1080p video editing, and a whole range of other types of uses. Now we're somewhat limited with the integrated graphics of Intel UHD 620, but all the same if you manage your expectations and play the applicable games and use the applicable software, you'll be just fine and may not even notice a difference. Myself personally, I started using DaVinci Resolve 18 for 1080p video editing for videos like this, and my judgment is you will be totally fine using it on a device like the T480. One thing that never seems to change is the 720p webcam. The stereo speakers are not too bad. Here I have it turned up to 80. Of course, you could always use headphones or a Bluetooth speaker. All right, so now we're gonna take a look at the inside of this laptop to check out what kind of upgrades you can do and what kind of service you can do. Uh, before that, I'm just going to demonstrate how to get into BIOS and you turn on the laptop and start hitting enter and you'll be greeted with this menu where you wanna hit F1. And once you're into BIOS, you can navigate over to the config menu, go down to power and scroll down to disable built-in battery. You wanna hit enter and enter again. If you have an internal battery installed, this is what you would probably wanna do before you open it up. All right, let's start our technician journey by first taking out the battery. And using a Phillips head screwdriver, you want to remove one, two, three, four, five, six screws to remove the back panel. Okay, and you want to use something like a plastic guitar pick and you can score along the palm rest and the back panel and you can release the plastic clips that are holding it in place. All right, and here we have one internal battery here. And in case you do need to remove it, say if you didn't disable it through BIOS, you can unscrew it here and over here and just simply take it out. Uh, but since we did disable it in BIOS, we don't have to do that. Over here, we have two DIMM slots for RAM. 
This is where our 16 gigabytes of DDR4 2400 megahertz RAM is installed. Uh, you can get up to 32 gigabytes. And over here is where we have our 2.5 inch solid state drive installed. And you can see here that it's connected to the motherboard via this cable. And you can also use a NVMe adapter if you have a M.2 NVMe solid state drive to install. Over here is the CPU fan, which connects to this heat pipe that goes over top of the CPU here. And you can re remove these four screws if if you need to apply new thermal paste and clean it up a little bit. I've already done this, so I'm not gonna demonstrate that. Over here, we have our M.2 port, and it's here that you can install something like a WWAN card or something like this M.2 solid state drive that I have here by a brand called Transcend. And if you do decide to install something like, it opens up the different opportunities to say dual boot Linux and Windows, um, whatever you like, have some extra space or run it as a cache. Up here, we have our wide Wi-Fi and Bluetooth card. And I think that's all I'm really gonna cover right now. There's extra service that you can do like replacing the touchpad, motherboard, etc. cetera, uh, but I'll save that for other videos. Okay, so now I'll show some gameplay examples. Um, I have Epic Games downloaded to the solid state drive and for Steam, I have everything loaded onto this external NVMe solid state drive. Now I should note that I use the Xbox app to screen grab all the gameplay. So that's going to affect our frames per second on a system like this just by a little bit. So just know that when you go to play these games, you're going to get a slightly higher performance rate than what I got. So with that said, let's check it out. So would I recommend this laptop for use in 2023 and onward? Absolutely, especially if you're just looking for a device for general use, for school, for work, for video editing, etc. I think this is a solid option that I noticed online is becoming quite popular. So I hope this video helped you out and hopefully it helps weigh your decision on whether or not the T480 is a good choice for you. Uh, so going forward, let me know what what you think in the comments, if you're using one, or if you think I missed something important, just let me know and we can cover it there for everybody else to view. Otherwise, have a great day and thanks a lot for watching.